Okay, this is my verse for the Book of Mormon Challenger verses. Um, it's Mosiah 15, chapter 7, or excuse me, Mosiah 15, verses 7 through 9. Uh, it says, Yea, even so he shall be led, crucified, and slain, the flesh becoming subject even unto death, the will of the Son being swallowed up in the will of the Father. And thus God breaketh the bands of death, having gained the victory over death, giving the Son power to make intercession for the children of men, having ascended into heaven, having the bowels of mercy, being filled with compassion towards the children of men, standing betwixt them in justice, having broken the bands of death, taken upon himself their iniquity and their transgressions, having redeemed them, and satisfied the demands of justice. And there's a few reasons why I like that one, and number one is because the first verse where it talks about uh, the Son being swallowed up in the will of the Father sets the supreme example for me, knowing that if I want to be like my Heavenly Father and enjoy the life He does, that I need to be like Him and submit to His will completely. And then the other reasons were that um, it tells us kind of the logic of how the atonement works, which I never understood before until I really got these verses, what they meant. And it just kind of helps me understand a little bit more of how it works and why it is important for me. And gives me greater appreciation for my Savior Jesus Christ, knowing that he had both the ability and the love for us required to do both of those things, to redeem us and satisfy the demands of justice. Um, so I, I kind of, I often come back to these verses to remind me um, of the purpose of the atonement of Jesus Christ that is the center of our faith and that um, that I, it's just one more witness to me that the Book of Mormon is true and that Jesus is the Christ and that He is our Savior. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.